Hi, Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at using um, Inspect Element to inspect the CSS and, and the different HTML elements on your site. Um, in this case, we'll, we'll take a look at the entry title. So if you're on a single post, just highlight the title of the post, right click and click Inspect Element. And in this case, we're using Chrome. So uh, different browsers will have different tools. So if you're using Chrome, this is what you'll get. On the left-hand side, we've got the different HTML elements. And, uh, and these contain the different uh, selector classes or ID classes. Um, on the right-hand side, we've got all the styles. So this contains the right-hand window here contains all the CSS rules. And, uh, and and here we've got the entry title class. So any, any class, selector class that starts in a dot is called a selector class. And um, any any class which starts with a hash is, is an ID class. So, uh, so that's how you find the different uh, CSS rules which apply to different HTML elements. Now, let's just go and have a look at uh, an explanation of uh, CSS just to make this uh, more simple uh, CSS syntax a CSS rule set consists of a selector and a declaration block so uh, in our case the selector was the entry title this example is showing you the selector of H1 and, uh, and it this, this example consists of two declarations um, and each declaration um, consists of a property and a value. So in this case, it's uh, color is a property and blue is the value. And the second declaration, font size is the property and 12 pixels is the value. So these two declarations uh, affect this class. So let's just go back to the example and uh, of the entry title. So we inspect element. So in this case, we've got a selector class of entry title, and we've only got one declaration. And uh, that declaration consists of the property and the value, and the property is font size, and the value is 36 pix. So if we, uh, and that's highlighted there, so that'll come up first in the right-hand window. If we wanted to check for the CSS rules which apply to the entry header, we'll just Click on uh, entry header there, and it will show you. I've added some custom code here, um, so it's got two two selector classes. Dot single. So this CSS rule will only apply to all single posts, and dot entry header. So the CSS uh, applies only to the entry header, and then it's got um, one, two, five different declarations which are style, uh, the entry header on all single posts. So we'll go back to the entry title. Now if we wanted to change the size of the entry title, how do we do that? Well basically we can test it in the browser first. And uh, let's just go down here to the 36 pics. We'll just click on that. We'll change this to 26. So you can see in the window it's changed. Um, it hasn't actually changed it on your live site, so as soon as you refresh the browser, that will be lost. So what we need to do is go into the style sheet and, and, and change the CSS once we've tested it in the browser. So how do we do that? Well, if we click on here, it'll tell you exactly where it is in the style sheet. So the style sheet normally contains a lot of CSS. Um, in this example here, it says that this CSS rule um, is located in the style.css file and on line 726. So if we click on that, that goes to line 726. And you can see under the title section, we've got that exact same uh, CSS rule. So we could actually change it here and test it as well. And this should change. So there you go. We just changed it to 16 picks. 28 picks. So, so now really to, to, to make this permanent, permanent, 
it's simply a matter of opening up your style.css file in your, ch in your child theme using a, a, a code editor if you're using Windows try a code editor name notepad++ if you're using Mac uh, text wrangler is a very uh, good free code editor and code editors will enable you they'll add line numbers to your to your file so it makes it very easy to find the CSS so it's simply a matter of opening it up at line 726 and finding this uh, CSS rule and just changing it and making it permanent so so that's all there is to it so uh, have a look at uh, w3schools.com because it's got some very good information for beginners and it will just show you uh, the basics of uh, CSS and also it includes pretty much every single class that's uh, that, that's supported by by all the major browsers so you'll be able to learn a lot about CSS so uh, that's all there is uh, this time so I'll uh, I'll see you next time thanks for watching cheers